there's no way that I was going to pass up on a chance to do a video about this. As all of us Irish fans know by now, Brian Kelly has fired defensive coordinator Brian Van Gorder, in which I think was a very wise move. Because as I said in the Duke recap video, big changes are needed in South Bend, and it started with Brian Van Gorder. Now look, people, I never hope for a guy to get fired. And, you know, and, I, and I, I certainly never hope for them to fail either. But the thing is this, Brian Van Gorder failed at his job, and he, he deserved to be fired. He wasn't getting it done. I mean, when your defense is giving up 500-plus yards a game and 30-plus points a game, that's not success. That's not getting it done. That is failure. I mean, look, I get that Brian Van Gorder, like the rest of us, he has bills to pay, and in his particular case, he has a family to care for. I get that. But, again, he wasn't getting it done. He failed at his job, and he got fired. Simple as that. I mean, I know that if it was, if it was my job... And I'm not comparing my job to his or anything like that, but I know that if I kept making mistake after mistake after mistake, crash machine, whatever, I'd get fired for it. So it's no different in that aspect. But anyway, um, it has been announced by Kelly that assistant coach uh, Mike, uh, what was it? What's his name? What's his name? Um, Hudson. Mike Hudson. Uh, he has been appointed to be defensive coordinator for at least the rest of the season. Beyond that, I don't know. Um, now, Mike Hudson, I don't know much about him other than the fact that he was a former linebacker for Notre Dame, but I don't know what he plans to do with the defense, what kind of scheme he's going to run, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. But I do hope that he finds a way to bring this defensive unit together, because even though things haven't been pretty early, early on this season, there is a lot of talent on that defense, and I, I really hope he can bring them together. Uh, but one other thing that I want to comment on, um, Brian Kelly... I do like him as our head coach. I mean, he hasn't had the greatest amount of success in the time that he's been with us, but still, he has gotten us two 10-plus win seasons, one undefeated regular season, and a trip to a national championship game. That's a be that's more than what we've gotten in the years prior to him. I mean, prior to that, it was nothing but 6-6, six and 6-6, six, six and 6-6, six, six and six, over and over. I mean, so at least, at least, you know, the down years, he's gotten us to at least eight wins which is nothing to write home about, but still, it's better than what we had been getting with, you know, Bob Davey and Charlie Weiss. Um, so he's taking, a, he's taking this program to places that we haven't been to in a while. He's, you know, it, it has gotten better, believe it or not. But still, though, um, you know, he's, uh, he's not flawless. And one thing I got to say that was complete bullshit that he said in his, in his press conference about the part about no one's job being safe... The fact that he included Deshaun Kaiser in that mix is complete and utter bullshit. I mean, your this is your quarterback who throws for nearly 400 yards, runs for another 60 on the ground, has two passing touchdowns, and one rushing touchdown, and you say that's below standard? Okay, I I'm sorry, Kelly, but that is horseshit. That's horseshit to say that's under par. And okay, he had one interception, but it was one that he threw, tossed up trying to make something out of nothing from your own five-yard line. So that part was a joke. I mean, everybody else I get. I can understand that. But no, no, you keep Kaiser out of that. He's been going beyond what, you, what you've asked him to do. So that, that part, that is just a joke. I mean, I get that it was probably ju it was just after they'd lost the game. He's pissed off. I was pissed off. I mean, you guys could see that in the, in the recap video to the Duke game. But, you know, to throw your top guy under the bus like that, that part is bullcrap. And I, I, I can't say that enough. But that's really the only negative thing I have to say about Kelly at this time. But, um, but look, people, also, I'm not going to stop making videos. I mean, it was clear that I was pissed off when I said that. However, this week... Um, there won't be a preview for the Syracuse game because I just don't have the time. Um, but there, I will be. There will be a recap. I will show up to, uh, you know, give my thoughts after the game and all that. Um, and also something else I want to address. And this is for anybody who is new to watch my videos or new subscribers and all that. You know, those of you who are regular viewers of mine, you already know this. But for all the new people. I'm I, I'm not a coach, I'm not a football expert, and I've never claimed to be one. 
this channel is is just me being a Notre Dame fan. Okay, I'm not, you know, I'm not, um, you know, like Ron Jaworski or anything like that. I'm not, you know, an expert on on coaching football. I mean, I know the game. Don't get me wrong, but I'm no expert at it. I mean, I just had some guy. Uh, I guess he was calling me out. And if that guy's watching, I don't say this being pissed off at you, dude. But these, those are not the kind of videos that I do. I don't, you know, I'm not going to pull out a, a whiteboard with a marker and start writing down plays because I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. And a football expert and a football coach is not what I am. I'm just a fan making videos, doing a little blog here, or vlog, I guess you'd call it since it's videos, talking about the game and what I think is going to happen. You know, I, I can't accurately predict games. I just, you know, that's why I'm a fan. That's why if I was a coach and an expert, I'd be doing it for a living. But I'm not, so hence these videos. So, I. but at the same time, though, it doesn't take a genius to figure out when things aren't working, when certain schemes aren't working. And Brian Van Gorder's schemes, they simply were not getting the job done. And again, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. I mean, any, you know, anybody can, can see that with a clear eye. I mean, I'm no basketball expert, but hey, when you were playing the Bulls in the, in the, the late 80s to mid 90s, who was the key guy you had to stop? Michael Jordan. Any fool can see that. So again, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what's working with a, a football's defense and what's not. So that's, that's all there is on that. So, so at any new people, that's what you can expect out of these videos. It's just me being a fan and nothing more. So, so yeah, with that said, people, um, that's all I have for you in this video. And until next time, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. God bless, and even though the season's been kind of crappy so far, I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up on the Irish. So, with that said, go Irish, baby.